So in this video, we're going to be doing an application of Venn diagrams. This is a logic problem or a puzzle. This is the second logic problem that uh, I'm doing in this series. So first of all, here's our setup. We're given a, a problem, 250 people are polled about their preferred Saturday night activity. And they give me a breakdown here. Now to start with, I notice that the only options they seem to give um, their uh, old people are comedy club, dancing, or going to the movies. So I'm going to need three circles overlapping in my Venn diagram. Movies, dancing, and comedy club. My universe is going to include all 250 people who are pulled, and I want to break it down into people who wanted, who prefer just dancing, people who prefer dancing in the movies, people who prefer all three, and so on. So, first of all, if I start with the 105 would prefer a, to frequent or would frequent a comedy club. Well, that's the people who belong in this circle. But this circle is broken down into four subparts. Those who would only go to a comedy club, those who would go to dancing or to a comedy club but not the movies, who would go to the movies or a comedy club but not dancing, and people who would prefer all three. I don't have enough information to know how that 105 people is broken down. As I go down, if I look at the last one here though, seven would be happy going to any of the three choices. That's a very clear position. That's right here in this center, in this kind of shield-shaped area. So I know that seven people chose all three, movies, dancing, and comedy club. As I'm moving up, 34 would go to the movies or a comedy club but not dancing. Now this is again is a very clear section. People who would go to the movies or a comedy club but not dancing. So I'm not including these seven people in that 34. This section right here that belongs to both the movie circle and the comedy club circle but does not belong to the dancing circle. This is the 30 people. This is where those 34 people belong. Our next one, 28 would go dancing or to a comedy club, but not the movies. That's a very clearly defined section. Dancing or comedy club, so I'm in both those circles, but I'm not in this circle. So I'm in very clearly in this shield-shaped area here. I don't need to do anything to that 28. Moving up, 3 would go to the movie or dancing, but not a comedy club. So again, I'm in the movie circle, I'm in the dancing circle, but I'm not in the comedy club circle. So that's very clearly this section here. 95 would go to the movies. Now this isn't broken down. This includes everyone that belongs in this circle. I know what these three sections are, and I don't know what the fourth one is, but I know the total is 95. So if I take the 95 that makes up the entire circle, subtract away these three, these seven, and these 34, then I'm going to get the people who want to go only to the movies, not dancing, or the comedy club. So 51 people chose that option. 62 would go dancing. Again, that's very broad. 62 people are in this circle. But I want to know how many wanted to go only dancing and would not choose the movies, would not choose the comedy club. So I need to subtract away the three who would go dancing or the movies, the seven who would choose all three, the 28 who would choose dancing or the comedy club. So 24 people would choose dancing only. 105 would frequent a comedy club. That's this entire circle here. I need to know just this part here, this moon-shaped part here of people who would prefer a comedy club, but not the movies, and not dancing. So again, I need to subtract away these three numbers, and I get 36 people. I'm not quite done yet. I need to talk about the entire 250 people, and they are not represented in my uh, Venn diagram yet. So what I need to do is I need to actually take that 250 people and subtract away those who chose dancing, the movies, or a comedy club, any of those, subtract away all of these numbers to get the people who wouldn't prefer any of those. And that's my 67. 